Individuals can do quite a lot, actually, to increase their own happiness. Um, and there's loads of things you can do. We haven't got time to go all, into all of them now, but I've got a little high-tech presentation, a five-minute thing for you here, to say that actually our brains don't know what's good for us. So we've got these lizard brains, uh, which are all about survival based on sort of Stone Age evolutionary factors. And in modern society, we, we actually, do, our brains don't know what's good for us. And this is something that people could easily learn. And if we could get the message out to the world, we could make a big difference to the world. So, for example, we think that we should eat as much as we can um, because we don't know when there's going to be more food around. So we're programmed to believe that you know, maximum fat intake is going to be good for us. But of course, eating and drinking um, don't, don't make us happier in the end not excessive anyway. So our brains are programmed to eat excessively and that's not good for us. <laughs> um, we also think that money will make us happy. We think that maximizing resources will make us happy. And Richard just mentioned chasing after success. And to an extent, money makes you happy, but it gets to a point where it doesn't make you happier after that. And there's lots of research being done into money and happiness. And unfortunately, we, we don't realize that money, most people believe that if they could earn more, it would make them happier. And they're wrong about that. Um, and then um, we, we believe that being selfish will make us happier. Richard mentioned this. Um, we are programmed to be selfish survival animals, but we're also programmed to be altruistic and look after the pack. And actually, we get loads of happiness from helping other people. And for example, there was a famous experiment. People were asked to give 20 pounds to first of all, spend 20 pounds on themselves. And then they were asked to give away 20 pounds. And they found that giving away the money made them happier than spending it on themselves, um, which is fascinating, isn't it? But we, our brains don't realize that. You know, our brain would think, what, give it away? Not happy with that. So, so being selfish is something that's programmed into us that will not make us happy. Um, the next one is coming out of our comfort zone. So our brains are programmed to stay safe and not take risks and survive, but actually coming out of your comfort zone makes you happier. And that might be in terms of initiating big projects like Jerry and I with our World Happiness Project and, and Action for Happiness that, that Richard has started that we love and we're big fans of that. Um, but learning new things and being creative are things that make us happy. But our brains tend to resist doing that because it means coming out of their comfort zone. And then um, competing and comparing. You know, we think, and Richard mentioned this, we think we'll be happier if we can do better than other people. But actually competing with other people doesn't make you happy and comparing yourself with other people doesn't make you happy. So there's a friend of mine who lives in a ha house that's worth six million pounds in London. And he is unhappy because his brother has got a house that's worth 20 million. And <laughs> I said to him, why don't you compare yourself with me? Because my house is only worth about half a million. And he, and he said, you, why would I compare myself with you? Was what he said. <laughs> and I'm thinking, because it would make you happy. But we don't, do we? We're always, we're always comparing ourselves with the wrong people. So competing and comparing is not a route to happiness, but it's what our brains do. Because we want to maximize our resources. Our lizard brain is trying to do that. And that's out of date. And, and once we realize that that's not a route to happiness, we can do something about it. I've just got three more things. Uh, laziness, we think, will make us happy. You know, uh, maximize your resources. My dog is so lazy that she follows me upstairs, but she leaves it for a couple of minutes before she goes upstairs in case I come back down. But if I'm definitely going up there, then she'll follow me upstairs. And so they're, they're always minimizing their use of energy. It's the most efficient way. But actually, in the modern world, we've got so much spare energy that, we, that laziness is bad for us. Laziness will make us unhappy. But our lizard brain is saying, be lazy, it's more efficient. You know, do nothing all weekend, you know, just sit around watching TV. And, and actually, that's a short term <clears throat> happiness, but a long term unhappiness. And you just feel that feeling you've wasted the weekend. So laziness is not a route to happiness, but our brains think it is. Um, our brains keep going into the past and the future. Our brains keep um, worrying about what's coming up and then going back into the past. If only I hadn't done that. I wish I'd, and I wish I had done that. And that's, that's not going to increase our happiness. So happiness is in the present. 
but our brains are not good at living in the present. So there's this been big trend recently towards trying to live in the present more. Um, but actually, uh, what's the word for living in the present? It's gone out of my head now. Um, but uh, Sally, unmute and tell me what the word for living in the present is. Mindfulness. Uh, mindfulness. That's it. Thank you, Paula. Um, so, you know, people are starting to realize that mindfulness is key. And, and here we are with autumn leaves and, and we should be just, you know, living in the present and enjoying how beautiful the trees are. But we're not good at that. Our, our brains are always planning ahead, but that's not where happiness is. And mindfulness is actually really, really difficult, but uh, it's important that people are told about it as a concept. And then uh, <coughs> finally, I had just negative emotions. So our brains are full of negative emotions, which we think will um, make us happy in the end. So, you know, things like being angry and worrying and feeling guilty. We think those will make us better people and lead to happiness, but they won't. And once we've realized that negative emotions are not a route to happiness, then we can start to do something about it. When we realize the payoffs of these, the perceived payoffs are false, they will not make us happy. We can start to push them out of our lives and we can choose not to be angry and not to worry. And we can choose those things. There are things we can do about all that. So all this stuff is in our brains from our evolution and it's not gonna make us happy. But once you realize that, these are simple things to learn, we can do something about it. So okay. Thank you.